Well, dear friends, moving on. I hope you are not tired yet. So many exciting things I had, and I would like to introduce our next speaker, uh, who will introduce our next concept, that is donor. What do we want to do here? This is a well-developed market, and Magomed Kostov will talk about it. He's about to join me, so we would like to develop a huge network for millions of people who love this product. And this product is not covered by networks yet. We would like to come up with something new. What do we want to do? We want to open small places with high traffic there is nothing extraordinary here but we want to develop a good production model we'd like to come up with an efficient kitchen and that will happen thanks to digitalization thanks to mobile app that will allow us to have higher revenue from a smaller place and it will be convenient for the guests they will be able to order their beloved donor on their way to work and they will not be daunted by the fact that the place will be overcrowded because they will be able to pre-order their product and now I give the floor to Magomed Kastoyev. All right! Magomed, sorry, I am wearing my red sneakers instead of you. It was my prepared joke. Yes, I wanted to wear red sneakers as well, but you took the initiative. You know, Magomed, I am not going to give you the clicker before you answer my three questions. Question one, how old are you? Huh, 39. Well, we are the same age. Question two, no, that was the first question. How long have you been in this business? For 22 years to be exact. Wow. And you've been working in food service industry all the time. Absolutely. Wow, that's a lot. Second question. What were your main discoveries? What can you share with young entrepreneurs? Three things, guys. It's okay to make mistakes. People is your most important asset, and don't be afraid to do something new. If somebody asks me the same question, I would give exactly the same answer. And the last question, 22 years in business, what is the key component of success for a pizza place or restaurant? Well, first of all, tasty food, good service, and right business model. I love the last point. And finally, I know that here you have your teammates from St. Pete, from Moscow. So is it shawarma or shawarma? How? It's donor. All right. The floor is yours. This is a blank black slide, guys. Funny. Yeah, go ahead. Give me a round of applause. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's enough. It symbolizes for a blank idea. So let's see where it all started. Let's talk about the shawarma or donor or kebab or durum. Uh, there are so many references to this product. It is loved all over the globe and it is cooked in different ways in different countries. Today, I will tell you about a new segment of our business, about the new path we are going to take, about the new chain for food, sir, fast food, uh, but let's get back to 22 years ago. In 1998, when I started working as a waiter, uh, that is when I started my professional career, I learned a lot and I climbed up uh, the career ladder. I worked as an administrative restaurant. I also did some consulting work. I had my own projects. And you may ask me, what does it all have to do with Dodo? The answer is simple. 
the blog, the power of brain. Uh, I started reading before it became mainstream. I remember I was uh, working as a restaurant administrator. I would go to this web page, I would read articles, I would find some useful life hacks, I would share it with my subordinates, I would adapt ideas to my restaurant. I really loved it. And I remember I wrote a letter to further saying that I would like to see you one day, I would like to take a look at your miraculous IT system, and I would like to know what have you done. And I was able to meet him. I remember two years ago, Fyodor invited me to his restaurant, so I would give a seminar to his managers about restaurant analytics. In April this year, we were La writing letters to each other, and I remember he invited me to China to help create that Roman Dao he was talking about for the Chinese market. And uh, you see now Chinese have tasty pizza that can they, they can buy at other restaurants, thanks to our great Dao. And uh, in August last year, uh, last year, uh, Fyodor decided to have a meeting, another meeting with me, and uh, I don't know why he smiles sitting there, but he offered me a challenge. He said, think of a popular dish called shawarma or donor. So why don't you create a food chain that will offer innovative technologies, tasty product. So it was a naked idea. You had to dress up. So I thought it would be a good challenge for me. Why not? After all, why don't I combine my knowledge, my skills, my expertise with possibilities of Dodo, that is IT system infrastructure, supply chain, and many other things. This is how innovative donor looks like, guys. And uh, you may ask me, why donor? There are many other popular products, after all. There is pizza, burgers, and donors. I believe they are the most popular ones. Well, the thing is that the niches for burgers and pizza are already filled in by large chains, but for donor, there is no large player yet, and if not, why don't we develop our chain? Well, donor for Russia is, after all, a national dish after California roll and Caesar salad. Of course, it is loved all over Russia. So Fyodor sent me this photo and he said, look, I'm traveling around Russia. This is a town of Tarzog, 200 kilometers away from Moscow, a really small town, but they, they, and they also sell here donor or shavirma. Everybody loves it. Actually, it is a pop product, again, popular all over the world. So I gave a call to my mom, and I said, Mama, I'm joining Dodo. And she asked me, is it good or bad? She, said, uh, she asked, and I said, it's good. And she said, I believe in you. And you see, Mom, your son now is uh, shown on TV, so you can be proud of him. So where do you start? What kind of concept should we offer? What, how large should be the restaurants? What should be the cost of the product? How will our guests find us? What will be our target audience? There are so many questions to answer. Well, we developed a concept based on three basic principles, and our platform was based on this uh, on these principles as well. First of all, the convenience. By this, we, we imply a lot. First of all, we will open restaurants in high traffic locations with panoramic views. We will be able to give donors really fast, so we split production into sub-processes and 
the guests will get their donors really, really fast. Then mobile application, of course, we have developed a very efficient mobile app that will enable our guests to place an order being away from a restaurant. You can drive past restaurant by a car or you can walk home, place an order, and as you reach the restaurant, grab and go. And, of course, our Mobile application has a black item. I will later talk about the heroes that have come up with it. Then, next point, taste, good taste. And uh, here I thought what a good tasty donor means. Of course, each and every was has a favorite location that offers best shawarma or donor. And uh, thinking about that, I was thinking about a quotation of an American philosopher, that is Ralph Old Emerson. Once he wrote, if you use different methods, when looking for something by and ignore the principles, you always risk to circle around without reaching results. But if you analyze your principles and basics, you will always move forward and always reach the desired result. Okay, we thought and we started analyzing the principles. And we started educating ourselves, thinking about basics of uh, food production. So we read the book of a Michelin chef and the owner of Fat Duck restaurant, Kirsten Blumenthal. We also read a book by Harold Maggi, who is the physicist, but who also explains what's going on with food during the cooking process. And, of course, we read a book written by micro, former Microsoft employees. And he invested a, a lot of money to start the, the scientific foundation uh, of uh, uh, cooking, and uh, he uh, wrote the book Morning's Cuisine. And after starting the foundation, was split donor into three elements or components. You know that this is Pratt, uh, seasoning and milk. And first, uh, we develop a taste or a flavor, and that working for those who can produce that at a large scale. This is our uh, first bread, uh, and we compare it against the size of a pump of a person. So this is uh, the next uh, version of flat bread, lavash or pizza. So and uh, it's whole grain. It's not like a wrap uh, for ingredients, and this is a dish. And of course, it's about seasoning. So this is barbecue. This is uh, um, legendary uh, mayonnaise with garlic and mango chili. Uh, so huge number of suppliers, ways of cutting, a big amount of different marinades, ways of cooking. These were our searches for the best marinade for chicken. And we also tried chicken broth to produce with such a wonderful, tasty uh, chicken soup with uh, meat and greens. Your favorite cabbage. I know that you love cabbage in shawarma. We tried different cutting methods and filling methods and even baked vegetables. Very few people do that. And as a result, our first uh, donor from Berlin, uh, there is a meat uh, baked uh, vegetables, a greenery, and feta cheese. And then to check its taste, we gave it for a degustation to our colleagues. So this is how it happened. And this is their feedback.
We understood that was the right way and we were inspired. So we did it uh, in uh, bomb, bomb. So this is after biting. Even after bite, it looks beautifully and tasty. <laughs> and that is the uh, photo of a legendary Berlin kebab that we found in Berlin. Uh, we traveled a uh, lot of cities looking for inspiration. That was St. Petersburg, which is the capital of Shaverma, that was Bucharest. And we visited Berlin and Istanbul. And in order to come up with all that kebab, it took us one hour and a half of waiting in the cold outside. And that was the foundation of how we developed its taste. Summarizing, I was speaking uh, about the taste and the most painful question, safety, safety and convenience. Uh, I will uh, just ask uh, about uh, what is the weakest point uh, in a uh, shaverma so i call that device shisha so this and uh, uh, we started how we bake meat uh, here uh, and uh, there are a lot of uh, limitations uh, for the business for the guests uh, this bobbin and this barrel uh, so they are very hard to control and there are lots of issues in terms of sanitary uh, things and uh, when he's uh, uh, cutting a piece of meat usually it's stored here and the temperature is unsafe that's not safe to eat and you need to manage it you need to uh, get it closer to the fire and you need to watch the tree and then uh, you need to look at uh, dried meat and usually you may get both a uh, raw and uh, dry meat in the same piece and also there is a risk of uh, infecting the meat if the cooking was improper uh, there are lots of reasons uh, why we decided not to use uh, this and this bobbin. And that's hard to uh, cook uh, using this uh, bobbin. Uh, this is the unsafe area temperature uh, from uh, 6 to uh, 40, from those who are uh, watching, uh, this is from 40 to uh, 140 Fahrenheit. If the raw meat is in this temperature uh, range, so there are risks of uh, spread of infection. And we developed a process of our ingredients flow, both raw and finished, uh, from supplier to the guests in a way that uh, all of the uh, raw materials are higher or lower than this temperature range. Uh, if you even want to get food poisoning, you won't be able to get it. This is the safest shawarma or shawarma model in the world. And can we make shawarma without uh, a bobby, no shawarma? Um, well, one of the best ways to cook uh, meat. Uh, this is a very fast and technological uh, means, so it doesn't uh, require any special uh, skills. It's just an oven, to use the simple term. Uh, okay, uh, what's next? Uh, when uh, McDonald's appeared, they changed hamburger. Uh, market. It was uh, before McDonald's and after MC. All of the burgers uh, were prepared and cooked uh, with the sanitary issues. And the uh, McDonald's, they made hamburger uh, stable and very clean in terms of sanitary regulations. And we would like and we believe that it's ha happening that this idea about shaverma as uh, not the cleanest, not the safest uh, 
product can change. We would like our donor not to be associated with such a picture, with such this type of uh, shawarma. And I will speak about our menu. You think that's a donor, but that's not true. And then it's a, a classical Berlin donor, and I would like uh, to give you more details, but that's hard uh, for me. And uh, also, uh, these are the starters and seasoning sources like this, like this, uh, fried, with our fries. And our wonderful bakery, and we are preparing uh, while our guests are watching. So this is our bakery, hot and uh, salt drinks, uh, I run, and then berry juices and juices and I run. So this is the soup to go, like we call it, and for. Uh, those who uh, like salads, so we have salads with both, uh, with meat and without meat. We love vegetarians, we uh, respect them, and we have a wide range of products and foods for them. This is Jordan Belfort, how we see our business development. Uh, now I described our model in terms of uh, the guests. So that's tasty, you would like to go there. What about the business? We see three formats uh, in line with our concept. The mini format, uh, something you know, that's a closed place with a window, uh, without set, and then the middle uh, uh, format, so up to 70 square meters from uh, 10 to 20 tables, and the big format uh, from uh, 70 square meters and lots of seats. Uh, what is uh, the business advantage of this format? Uh, the first advantage is the mobile app. Uh, that's convenient for the guests, uh, less queues, uh, less workload for the cashier, and we see our guests online, uh, we can uh, make offers in the apps, this is Dota is, which can help us to adjust all of the processes, we can recreate the new functions, you can never do that using a ready-made system of a restaurant automation a logistics system to supply to all Russian cities. And Dodo Pizza was built in this system for many years, and it's ready, and we are going to use it. Uh, unique equipment. This is the unique uh, donor grill, uh, which was uh, developed uh, uh, by Business Russia. Uh, so it accelerates donor cooking, and this uh, grill uh, will be available only uh, to ours and our future com partners, our franchises. Uh, this is uh, uh, frying with an automatic uh, filtration of. Uh, uh, oil, and you cannot uh, make it uh, bad, and it's much cheaper compared to international analogs, telemetry, and wide uh, menu. Uh, each piece of equipment in line with our concept has a telemetric system, so we can remotely control the equipment, we can look at uh, the problems, and uh, the manager will uh, get the message if the fridge is open and uh, otherwise all of the stock of meat may be destroyed and so on and so forth. So this is the future which is today and the last business advantage that's not uh, the last on the list and all of these advantages, the logistics and everything, Connect app, wide menu, it's all accessible with a, a highly efficient uh, kitchen uh, which has a square area of uh, 15 square meters. You understand that with 15 square meters to have such a speed and menu, that's amazing. But I have one more surprise to you. You thought we would have Steve Jobs photo here, but not. 
Uh, so, Shaverma, where are you? So, this is the biggest aggregator of Shaverma points in Russia and abroad. Uh, two wonderful people who are developers of this system, and that's a pleasure that they are here watching me and smiling. Uh, Georgi Shavinyan, Arseniy Vasily. So, uh, this is uh, what it looks like, this uh, interesting app. Over uh, 11,000 uh, uh, shaverma points, over 375,000 uh, feedbacks and uh, likes, or 100 users uh, of the app per month. And the most interesting fact is that Arseny and Georgi, they developed this app and they are developing it for three years uh, in their free time, free from work. And uh, that was a pleasure that our guys joined us in the team and they they are uh, developing our mobile app and uh, Shaverma model. Now you can scan QR code and upload the app, find your favorite point and add a new one. What's the name of our project? And we've been looking for that name for a very long time, Donor42. And it has uh, a reference uh, to uh, the uh, movie when 42 uh, is uh, the response to anyone, anything for it, and two, it's just for two people in English. And there is a challenge, uh, and there is a secret and enigma. I'm thinking about what is uh, 42. And then we started to find references uh, to Alice in Wonderland because there was rule number 42. And Dodo is also from Alice from uh, in Wonderland. And uh, what we've been waiting for a long time, this is the logo of Donor 42. You can see a different option, this one, this one, this one. And even this, and you will not believe this one, we also got, of course, this. And the question is, what kind of logo? That's my question. We choose. You don't know, and the answer is simple, none. We have chosen none of them. We are still looking for a logo. Please be patient very soon. We will show you the logo. So, I've covered the new concept about the new way, about the new business that we're going to launch. It was a blank idea, the blank slide that was a vacuum. Now it's a ready concept. In two months, we open our first facility near a matter in Moscow. We are going to test our uh, business model and we are going to further develop. In the very beginning, I ask you the question. What uh, is the taste is shaverma? And I said that you have your very favorite point where you buy that legendary, super tasty shaverma. I would like you to visit ours when we open. I would like you to try and taste our donors. And next time when you are asked, where do you think is the best shaverma? And I would like your answer to be, the taste of shaverma is to be found in Donor 42. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was marvelous. That was great. Uh, France. Uh, uh, not many people uh, taste it. That's crazy. That's so super tasty. That's yummy, yummy. And uh, uh, we will post the address for, for the first opening of uh, Shaverma 42. Magamia, thank you.